What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. It's Rudio here. Today, we're talking about Cycle Frontier tips that you probably don't know. You may or may not know these tips. If you're new to the game, definitely stick around. You will learn something today. Even if you're not new to the game, I think you will still learn something from these tips. If you don't, feel free to drop a dislike. Tell me I'm shit in the comments. I don't really care, but I feel like you might learn something today, even if you know the game. So please stick around. We're going to get right into the tips starting now. All right, so starting off, we're going to have some more of the beginner tips. If you have played the game for a while, you're going to know some of this. But the first tip I'm going to give is starting with Osiris. Now, Osiris sells the meds in the game, the green stims, the blue stims, all that, and one of the best guns in the game. If you're brand new to the game and just starting off, I'm going to highly recommend you go for strong stims, green stims, just do their missions for Osiris first until you unlock green stims and the mana core. Running this gun with these stims is going to change your gameplay completely and you're going to start winning more fights. I promise you that. Now getting into focusing and boosting a certain faction. If you haven't already, you're going to want to pick one faction to focus, not missions, but selling your items to. Selling your items can give you faction points, which is XP toward the levels of that faction, which is going to allow you to unlock the weapons of that faction. I'm going to say if you haven't picked one yet and you're on edge of what to pick, I say pick ICA. They had the most weapons weapons in the game and some of the best weapons in the game as well but i'm gonna go ahead and say that you want to pick one faction to sell every single one of your items to and get this faction points instead of just selling to whatever faction focus one faction it's gonna help you out a lot unlock those weapons of that faction there's one more way to boost factions and that is jobs you have your main missions but you don't want to forget to be doing these jobs these jobs are going to give you extra xp toward the faction that you do the job for as well as supply you with more scripts and k marks a lot of people forget to do these jobs. I always make sure to do all the ones I can in one day. A lot of these jobs are pretty crap and you don't want to waste your resources on it. Like this one's not worth it, but some of them can be worth it. Just don't forget to do your jobs. You will unlock medium and hard jobs as you upgrade your faction level. So get that up and just don't forget to do your jobs for extra FP and K marks. But if these stims are too expensive for you to buy, you can also craft them at the print station for pretty cheap 300 K marks and it only takes these items. So if you want to, you can start farming up these items so that you can craft these stims for a much cheaper price. While we're here, I want to go ahead and give this tip that you can also craft materials for certain missions. If you can't find a portable lab, you can come here and craft it using these missions. Just remember that you can craft these items and you will probably need them for missions. As well as altered nickel. If you need altered nickel, you need five nickel to craft one. This is a brand new craft that they just added to the game. You will need altered nickel to craft backpacks. One thing that is overlooked by beginners in this game is buying and equipping scopes. If you add a two times optic to the mana core, it will actually beam. I'm telling you, when I started using the two times on the mana core, I never went back. If you're not using the two times on the mana core, use it, try it. This thing is disgusting. Also, you have the red dot, which the red dot is pretty good as well. All preference, just don't forget to be adding scopes to your guns. Also, if you're not using grenades right now, it is literally a grenade meta. Grenades will change the way a fight happens every single time. Grenades are broken use them if you're not using them trust me bring at least four in these things will literally win you fights you shouldn't be winning now getting into some of the more intermediate tips you probably don't know insurance package if you insure your items and you expect to get them back if you use your arm insurance or even the regular insurance and your teammate picks up your item whether that be your arm or your gun doesn't matter if your teammate even picks it up it completely voids the insurance and that insurance will no longer be on that item so this is not like tarkov you cannot have your teammate pick up on your items and throw it in a corner or throw it in a bush and hide it so that you get it back it will completely void the insurance just be aware of that now something a lot of people don't know is that there's two types of melee in this game there's the light attack and then there's the heavy attack if you hold it down light attack will only hurt a strider a little bit but if you heavy attack a strider it will one shot them this is the best way to kill striders as it is silent and it just kills them immediately when you're going to mine meteor fragments, hit them in the corner with the biggest spike that is the meteor fragment. With this method, you only have to hit the meteor twice in order to get the fragment every single time. This makes for a much quicker way to farm meteor fragments so that you don't have to farm the entire thing. Just hit it twice in that corner and you can farm meteor fragments much quicker. In this game, there are two different types of insurance. There's the gear salvage, which costs your Aram, which is the in-game currency that you have to pay real money for. And then there's the standard insurance you use your K marks for. In the standard insurance, you only get K marks back for the insurance if you die. The gear salvage, if you use your Aram to insure this way, then if you die and the enemy doesn't take your items, then you actually get the weapon or the gear item itself back instead of just K marks. But if the enemy takes the weapons, you still get K marks back just like you would with the standard insurance. Don't forget that there is these tokens. You start out with five of them. You can use them to take away the cost of one of your items or even two of your items in this insurance. Use them wisely because you only have five. But if you buy the battle pass, as you see, I have 17. You get a lot from the battle pass. 
When you're in game and you get the storm incoming in five minute warning, this means that players can no longer spawn inside your game until after the storm. Once the storm is over, players can start spawning again. During this time, you don't have to worry about other players spawning around you. And as players evac, that means just less and less players in that lobby until the storm is over and people start spawning again. So during this time, you're probably safer to be looting around than any other time. If you're not super familiar with the combat in this game yet, then you might not know that hip firing in this game is terrible. At point blank range, it might be good, but hip firing is super inaccurate in this game, and especially with shotguns. With shotguns, ADSing actually reduces the spread, meaning you hit more pellets from ADSing, meaning you do more damage. So try to ADS as much as you can in this game. Hip firing is not what you want to be doing, at least not in most situations, because hip firing is super inaccurate, and ADSing is just way more accurate. This one is going to be a quarter upgrade tip about the supply crate. The supply crate's actually pretty good. I have it currently level 7. If you go over to your generator, look at supply crate and click on more details, you can see what you can get from your crate. Mine level 7, I currently can get purples from it. Level 6, you can get blues and greens, and I haven't hit level 8 yet, but I'm going to make a video on it once I do of what you can hit. But just level 7, I can already get purples from this. Upgrade your supply crate, you can get pretty good free stuff from this. Throwing audio decoy grenades can lure and distract mobs. So if you can't get by a Jeff or something, you can throw an audio decoy and it will lure the Jeff to the audio decoy every puzzle room on the map the east collection puzzle room the dig site puzzle room and the water facility puzzle room all have weapon crates and inside these weapon crates you can find purple and exotic weapons it's very rare but it is possible to find purple and exotic weapons inside the weapon crates inside these puzzle rooms and as a little added bonus you can also find smart mesh inside the industrial crates inside puzzle rooms now real quick tip for key cards here if you look at the blue the blue top means it is for the map crescent falls and the yellow tip means it is for the map bright sands and for the most important key cards i'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that you want to be keeping for bright sands over any other key card the armory key is the best mine access key is very good server access key is good and the other blue card which is luggage key are the four best key cards to be keeping and using on bright sands a real quick tip about your stamina don't just walk and let it regen it regens super super slow what you want to do when you run out of stamina actually is just sit still crouch and then it'll refill much quicker i would crouch up and down just to make it to where you're not as easy as a target but that's just a real quick tip about gaining stamina back when you're going to kill jeffs they can be very hard to kill but what you want to do is wait for them to open their mouth and run up to you and shoot them in their mouth it gives that little drawback effect that knocks them backwards and it does much much more damage when shooting them in the mouth like that so you always want to be shooting them in the mouth like i am here that is the best way to kill jeffs don't be afraid of them if they run up right next to you just shoot them it'll give that little knockback effect like it like it did and it'll do much more damage inside that mouth now for the final tip i'm going to tell you what items you need to be keeping mostly for missions so that you don't have to worry about getting these items when the mission comes i'm going to tell you what you need to be keeping the most for these missions it's only going to be useful to you if you haven't completed the majority of the missions now these items on screen here are the main items you need to be keeping for missions. If you haven't completed the majority of your missions, you will need to keep these. On the left side of the screen here, we have Clear Velt Sight, Pure Velt Sight, and the Velt Sight Heart. You need a lot of these for missions and they're really annoying to farm. If you need help farming these, I do have a farming Velt Sight video on my channel. I will link it in the description. Go watch that if you need to. The next item here, which is fertilizer, you need a lot of this and I mean a crap load of this stuff so keep as much fertilizer as you can it's easy to get but it is annoying because you need so many for missions same goes for resin guns master unit cpus you need three for a mission sample containers are just really rare so keep all the sample containers you find and smart mesh you need a lot for missions always make sure to get out with these items as they are really important in order to complete your missions i also have a video on my channel of what you should be selling what you shouldn't be selling in this game so if you are interested in checking that out i will also link that in the description as well go click on that go watch it if you need that but that is going to do it for this tips video i hope i helped you i hope you learned something from this video if you didn't like i said you can say fuck you dislike it i don't care but i hope that i helped you in some way with this video if i did please smash that like button hit the subscribe button it means a lot the channel is growing pretty fast right now and i really really appreciate everyone who subscribes it means a lot to me i will be making plenty of cycle frontier videos and i will be making more gameplay videos just stick around for those make sure to take it easy i really hope to catch you in the next one peace out